My crypto wallet is in liquidation. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. Well, a day doesn't pass when there isn't some more excitement in the crypto space. And this time it is an Australian, a Melbourne cryptocurrency exchange or a crypto wallet. Now, I'm not familiar with this one. My crypto wallet, Australia's first, let's have a look, first zero free, free cryptocurrency exchange, okay. Uh, well, not anymore. Um, send and exchange multiple cryptocurrencies using my crypto wallet. They've got a prepaid FPOS card used at over 1 million locations. Free to use cryptocurrency balance, uh, free AUD withdrawals from Australia's ATMs, pay for services using cryptocurrency. So it's your complete cryptocurrency solution to trade, store, and track cryptocurrency. So everything there. So you could use it for your real day. You could trade it. Oh, I hope people don't have a large amount of crypto in this. Instant verification for Australia and UK. Yep. Uh, and this is just the snapshot I've captured of their website because it's going... They're a registered business. So, what do they have here? Secure, regulated, insured. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. They've been liquidated, guys. Notice of appointment... As a liquidator, my crypto wallet, proprietary limited, in liquidation on the 3rd of December, 2021. Notice is given that at a general meeting of the members of the company held on the 3rd of December, 2021, it was resolved that the company would be wound up and that Terry Van Der Velt would be appointed as liquidators. So how does this work with cryptocurrency stored on this wallet? I mean, this isn't a bank. Are you an unsecured creditor? How does this work? Let me know in the comments if you know, guys. I mean, this is why you want to... Well, this is the danger of crypto on any exchange or any wallet. It can go under. Who has access to it? You know, where are you in line with the other creditors? How does it work with this? Are you at the top? Hopefully you're at the top. Let's have a look at some of the Twitter comments. This is their... Well, they don't exist anymore. And a reporter was asking people for comments on Twitter. And this person, Travis, said, I've been trying to withdraw my Bitcoin out of my my crypto wallet for over six months now. They've been giving me the runaround via email. They offered to settle the BTC for Australia, AUD, and transfer to me. I never received anything. And my crypto wallet account says zero dollars, total scam. I'm really hoping... People didn't have significant money in this. And here's XP wielded. Oh, sorry, XRP wielded. Why do you... I mean, you don't want to identify purely with one token as your uh, character. Okay, it's just stupid, guys, because then if it doesn't go anywhere or if it crashes, you're going to be emotionally tied to it. That's anchoring. That's a sales technique. It's a manipulation technique. Anyway, anyway. So... And this person's asking Cat tweets. Any updates on what is happening to my crypto wallet? You did support this exchange. Do you not have any credibility? Do you not want to protect uh, innocent people from exchanges such as this? And who he is tweeting to was this. ADCA is the industry body that represents Australian businesses and other organizations participating in the digital economy through blockchain technology. They joined in 2014. They've got 1,250 followers, and their last retweet or tweet was in July 2019, and if we go to their website, this is what's there. Nothing's there. So I, I, it doesn't look like they're not really putting much effort into their social media presence. You'd think they'd be promoting blockchain innovation in Australia. But there you go, everyone. So... My crypto wallet in liquidation. A free exchange where you could do all these wonderful things. There you go, guys. Free to use. Looks like it didn't work out. I wonder what happened. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Let me know in the comments or talk about this. 
Let me know in the comments, guys, if you have been impacted by this, if you've had to deal with it, uh, and if you've used my crypto exchange or my crypto wallet. Was it a good exchange? Were there any issues? And actually, before we before we finish up, I mean, we are talking about we are talking about crypto, so we have to look at the current prices, guys. Uh, you've got Bitcoin BTC at forty eight thousand. Ethereum is at 4,082. Binance Coin is at 558. And you've got Tether and Solana and Cardano. Cardano is at $1.31. And where's XRP? Oh, right down there at 78 cents. Boy, it's not doing too well. You see, you can see there's still red. A little bit of green. What's green? Oh, Binance Coin, USD Coin, all the stable coins, everything in the red. What do we got here? I don't even know what that is. Uh, bit. <laughs> BitTorrent, a BitTorrent token is in the green. Okay, yeah, this is all legitimate, isn't it? <laughs> all legitimate. First 100. What about Neo? I remember when that was like 200 bucks. What happened to Neo? It's died, hasn't it? it, it, it so this is the thing. Some of these altcoins, they're crap. They're going to die. Uh, so you got to just think about the car industry, everyone. Look at the car industry with how many... Businesses started up right at the beginning and completely disappeared. That's, you know, that's probably what we're seeing here. Oh, boy. Doesn't cost much to start a crypto. So, guys, as I was saying, there we have it. You know, with... I feel sorry for anyone that's been caught up in this, but you've got to understand. I mean, you want to, if you've got the private keys on the blockchain... You're putting it in that wallet. You're, you don't have the keys. You don't have the crypto. Maybe it's worth having your own wallet, but then you've got to back up your own machine. There's all ways to store this. You've got to spend the time to it. and This is the risk of dealing with some of these type of organizations. So I hope people get their money back. I hope every, people aren't burned. I really hope people haven't had significant amounts of money on here. Hopefully not. Anyway, guys, let us know your favorite crypto exchanges. I use CoinSpot and Independent Reserve all the time, uh, but I don't sit anything on the exchange. <laughs> guys, I take it off all the time. What about you? Anyway, guys, check out this last video here about uh, Perth Mint Gold token. And this is where I was converting a lot of my cryptocurrency over to a token that I could turn into gold, real gold held at the Perth Mint. Take care, and I'll see you next time.